In this video, I want to look at some identities that come that arise from certain rotations. I'm going to rotate an angle, actually just the terminal side, I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees, I'm going to rotate it by 180 degrees, and I'm going to rotate it by negative 90 degrees, or you could think of it as rotating it 270 degrees. Let's start with 90 degrees. So if I take this angle right here and I rotate it by 90 degrees, it should end up over there, where this angle here is now the same as that one there. There's a theta right here. So the angle that we're looking at in standard position is 90 degrees plus theta. Okay. Now, because that angle's theta, I can take this triangle and redraw it right over here, right, where this length A is the same as that length a right here and this length B is the same as that up on top and R is the same here. It just gets rotated by 90 degrees. Right. Um, one thing to notice though where this B is a positive Y value this B is a negative X value so let's put a negative there. The coordinates of this point where this one was AB this is now negative BA. Right. Now i got to be a little careful here because I've got this perpendicular dropped over to the y-axis which could really screw me up. So what I want to do instead is to drop it down to the x-axis and say, okay, that negative b is this one right here and this vertical side a is this one here. My reference angle in this problem when I'm doing 90 plus theta, this is my reference angle down here. It's not the same as theta. It's, it's actually 90 minus theta. Um, but the the angle that I'm looking at now is 90 plus theta. Reference triangle is over here. Drop the perpendicular to the x-axis. So I want to know what's the sine of 90 plus theta. How is it related to theta? Well, I can just look. Sine of 90 plus theta, opposite over hypotenuse. That's A divided by R. Well, A divided by R over here is the cosine of theta. How about the cosine of 90 degrees plus theta? Well, the cosine would be the adjacent side over. Well, that's negative b over r, x over r. Negative b over r for theta is the negative of the sine. So cosine of 90 plus theta is minus the sine of theta. Uh, how about the tangent? of 90 degrees plus theta. Well, the tangent of 90 degrees plus theta is going to be the opposite side divided by the adjacent side, y over x. So this would be a divided by negative b. Well, over here, a divided by negative b, well, a divided by b would be the cotangent, but that minus sign would just throw a minus out in front, cotangent of theta. Okay. So here's three identities. There would be, of course, three more for the cotangent but the cotangent is going to cotangent here would end up with a tangent there because your sides just got your sides got flipped upside down likewise here and there right that this cosine would be r over b or r over negative b but r over negative b is going to be the cosecant or negative the cosecant on this side so uh, three identities here corresponding uh, to rotation by 90 degrees. Let's take a look at rotating by negative 90 degrees. Right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with the same picture. Start with the same angle out here. Point right there is AB. So this side is A, that side is B. This is the angle. Radius is R. This time I'm going to rotate it by minus 90 degrees. So it's going to end up rotated down here. Now, this A gets rotated down here to be this A, but where that's a positive X coordinate, this is a negative Y coordinate. The positive B sticking up here is now a positive B going sideways there. The R is still R. Right? This angle is the same as that angle. So this one right here is going to be negative 90 plus theta or think of it as theta minus 90. 
theta minus 90 degrees. Right? Start at theta and back up 90 degrees. There we go. I want to know what's the sine. I want to know what's the cosine, and so on. Right? So here we go. Uh, the coordinates of this point. Did I mention those? The x coordinate is b, and the y coordinate is negative a. I got to be careful. I've got this uh, per drop, this perpendicular dropped over the y axis. I don't want it on the y axis. I want to drop it back down to the x axis. So I'm going this way. This becomes the negative a right here, and this length in there, really kind of small, but it's b. I'm going to just put a little arrow into it. Right? That was a positive x coordinate. That's a, sorry, that was a positive y coordinate. This is a positive x coordinate. So that was plus. That's plus. Okay. It's the y coordinate that became negative here. Right. So what's the sign of this angle here in standard position? Well, it's the opposite side over the hypotenuse, negative a over r. Negative a over r from the first one would be the cosine. Actually, it's minus the cosine of theta. A over r is the cosine of theta, so if you want a minus sign, stick a minus sign in front. Cosine of 90 degrees minus theta is cosine of 90 degrees minus theta. So the cosine would be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So that would be b over r. But b over r is the same as the sine of theta. B over r. And lastly, the tangent of theta minus 90 degrees is y over x, so negative a over b. But negative a over b for the angle a, negative a over b, so a over b is the cotangent, and there's a minus sign in front. I look at these these here and see that this was a positive cosine, this was a negative cosine, this was a negative sine, this was a positive sine. I think, how the heck do I ever remember these? Right? And the answer is, I don't. I don't remember them. But I remember the process. I remember that I can take this triangle, know the coordinates of this point, rotate it forward 90 degrees, rotate it backwards 90 degrees, and look at what happens. So where does where does the A go? Where does the B go? Are they still positive or some of the negative? And once I've done that, I can I can just see what the what the trig functions are and relate it back to the the angle that I started with and figure out those identities every time. As we do more and more trick, you'll use identities. The ones you use a lot, you'll remember. The other ones, you don't need to memorize them. You just need to know where they come from so you can get them when you need them. There's a lot of them. I mean, I've got three more to go here. And actually, I'm not even writing down three each time because there would be one for cosecant, secant, and cotangent. But they're just reciprocals of these, right? Here we go. Let's do one more. Let's do rotation by 180 degrees. So let's draw in my coordinate axis here. I've got my triangle here with angle theta, side lengths a and b, so that the coordinates of that point right there are a comma b. I've got the hypotenuse be r. When I rotate by 180 degrees, everything rotates all the way around to here. So where this was a positive a, that's a negative a. Where this was a positive b, that's a negative b. Still a right angle here. This is a reference angle of theta. So the angle I'm talking about in standard position is the one that stops right there. That the terminal ray of this angle is rotated 180 degrees from the terminal ray of the one I started with. Okay. So when I look at that, I can see that that total angle is 180 degrees plus theta. So I'm going to be looking at what's the sine of 180 degrees plus theta and the cosine of 180 degrees plus theta. And I want to know the tangent of 180 degrees plus theta. Let's start with the sine. I can just look at it. Opposite over hypotenuse. Do I have a name for that hypotenuse? Well, it's the same length as that one up there, so that must be r. 
So here we go. What's the sine of 180 degrees plus theta? Well, it's opposite over hypotenuse. It's negative b over r, which b over r is the sine of theta. So this is negative sine theta. Likewise, cosine of theta is negative a over r, which is a over r would be cosine of theta, so that's negative cosine theta. Tangent of a 180 plus theta, tangent would be negative b over negative a. Negative b over negative a, that's an interesting one, because that's the same as b over a, and that is the same as the tangent of theta. So these two just swapped signs, and the tangent actually stayed the same. Interesting. Anyway, there's three different rotations le leading to a bunch of different identities. Again, I don't expect you have these memorized. I do expect, though, that you understand the process and are able to take these coordinates, rotate the angle, and figure out the identities when you need them.